This question says that there's a function given 6 minus 4 cos half x and the domain given is from 0 to 2 pi. We have to find the exact value of fx is equals to 4. Okay, let's do that. So 4 equals 6 minus 4 cos half x. Okay. I'm bringing 4 cos half x towards the left hand side. And then we get a minus 2 here. Then we get, a, sorry, we get a plus 2 from 6 minus 4. And then we get cos half x is equals to half. Then we take cos inverse. Or in fact, we have a transformed function. So what we can do is, I'm going to write the domain here first, 0 to 2 pi. I'm going to write let half x is equals to y. So we get cos y equals half. And this can be written in form of y. y is equals to 2x. So I'm writing x is equals to 2y. I'm sorry. It's x equals to y. Okay. So let's write 2y here. So then y would be equals to, would be between 0 to pi. So the function now becomes cos y is equals to half and the domain is between 0 to pi. Okay, I'm going to find absolute angle first through cos inverse half, which gives pi by 3. Cos is positive for positive half or positive half here, which is in the first quadrant, add sugar to coffee and the fourth quarter. So we have pi by 3 here and pi by 3. Okay. But the domain is only from 0 to pi, so this uh, answer is not considered. The only value of y that we're getting is pi by 3. And we know that x is equals to 2 pi, so x will be equals to 2 pi by 3. That is the solution of part 1. x is equals to 2 pi by 3. Next, we have to state the range of f. Okay. So if you look at fx, it has the function cos half x in it. And from the graph of cos half x, we know that its maximum value is 1, its minimum value is minus 1. So what we'll do is we'll find the highest and the lowest value of fx by replacing cos half x with 1 and cos half x with minus one. We get a two over here and we get a 10 over here. So the range of fx, okay, the range of fx is between two to 10. Okay. Sketch the graph of fx. Okay. So we know it's between two to 10. This would be the x-axis. Let's say we have two here. I'm making a dotted line here. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, a dotted line. Here. So the graph is going to stay between this region. We can tell the central value of the graph through six, two, three, four, five, six. That's the central line of the graph. Graph will be four units above this line and four units below this line, hence it goes till 10 and two. Okay, now we have to draw the graph of cos half x, in fact, minus cos half x. It has to be an upside down cos half x. So let me just first draw uh, pi by two, pi, three pi by two, and two pi, which I'm going to project, project on the new central line here, 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 and here, okay. And I'm going to draw cos x first. Cos x looks something like this within the given region. Okay. But now I'm going to draw cos half x, which cos half x would be actually, this is cos x. Cos half x actually completes half a cycle between 0 to 2 pi. So it is like this it only completes half a cycle. So only this part is completed. 
from between 0 to 2 pi. So it's like this. But it's also inverted because it's a negative cos half x. So we get something like this. Let me clear everything else. This is gone. This is gone. This is the graph of 6 minus 4 cos half x. Okay. Uh, part 4 says find an expression for f inverse of x. So let's write fx equals 6 minus 4 cos half x. Okay. I'm going to replace this with y. Make x the subject. So 4 cos half x comes here. 6 minus y. 4 gets divided. Cos inverse. Two multiplies. So we get f inverse of x equals 2 cos inverse 6 minus x upon 4, which is the final answer.